I'm Grant Ma, I'm the owner of Edencraft. Josie Eastman, I'm the daughter of Grant and Kerry, and I'm the general manager of Edencraft. Our major models are, are the Formula, which is quite famous, the 233, uh, the 6 metre offshore, and the 565, which has only recently been put back into production. Our most popular model is definitely the 565. Um, since re-releasing it back into production uh, in 2019, it has gone absolutely nuts. It would be about 50% of our production, but the formula uh, is still definitely the most famous boat that we built. No doubt it's the formula. I bought one 15 years ago. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely my favorite. I've always had one, so yeah. I'd say it's definitely the formula. Oh, I love the 565. It's just a perfect size boat to be able to use for everything. It can fit in most garages and it's just nice and small. Why I bought Edencraft? <laughs> midlife crisis. Yeah, my daughter thinks it's a midlife <laughs> crisis. My wife thinks it was. We had just sold another business. We had a, a hardware store down in uh, Drysdale and we just sold that. And three days later, I come home and said I bought Edencraft. Yeah, they thought it was a midlife crisis. I, I just wanted a new challenge in life. I get a kick out of starting something, trying to make it as successful as we could. So yeah, that's probably what it was. You're gonna to have to lock that dog up. She just wants yeah. to get in on the action, yeah. so don't you? When I um, first bought Edencraft, uh, probably about three or four years before I went to buy Edencraft, got close to buying it. A few things didn't work out, so it didn't end up happening. And then when it did happen three or four years later, I was very quick. Sort of decided I was going to do it, and a week later we were, we'd taken over. Over the first six months, it was just crazy. Like, it was just full on crazy. But virtually, I had no boat building experience when I bought the company. I took it on as a business point of view. Apart from having my own boat and being that weekend sort of bloke that went out fishing, I had none. Six years later, I quite know quite a lot <laughs> because um, you look, you make a lot of mistakes when you first start, even if you knew stuff, only by trial and error. So six years later, living this every day, you become pretty good at knowing what's good and what's bad. When you first buy, a boat building business, if you knew before, you probably wouldn't buy it. But um, years later, it's, it's been a, a fantastic journey when you look back. Maybe not always at the time, but yeah, now we're in a happy place and, and going well. So I talk to all the other boat builders and really get a kick out of talking to them and sharing our experience and what I find that's cost us money or it has worked or it hasn't worked. I, I feel over the last few years, the boating industry's got a lot closer. Eric and, and Mark and like Roger. Roger, talk to them all and enjoy having conversations with them. So. Our key partners would be uh, Mercury, Simrad, Raymarine, Suzuki, uh, all, all your major players. Um, and we're so grateful and lucky that we get to work with everyone so closely. Um, other major partners are Allnex, Easy Toe and they all do everything that they can to help us build the best boats possible. For us to go forward, I think we have to go with um, cutting edge technology. We've looked into the uh, five axis CNC machine, which is like in America, it's a big thing. Um, not so much in Australia. So we've ordered one of them. Um, we'll have the biggest CNC five axis machine in the Southern hemisphere, we've been told. So it's exciting for us. I can do a plug that normally would take us six months, it'll do it in 40 hours. So that's gonna be huge for us, for new products coming out, which we have already got in the pipeline. So um, it's very exciting for us. Yeah, so when we brought the business, we had uh, two workers and we've grown a bit since then in the last six and a half years. We've got a team of 34 now which compromises of about 22 production, uh, three R&D, uh, about eight in the office, I think if my numbers are right, and uh, three in um, the service centre. We've got a lot of great ideas coming up. So we've redesigned the uh, classic 
formula with the new hardtop, which will be coming out very shortly. We also have been working frantically on a, a 28, which is pretty exciting for us. We've also got in work a couple of centre consoles and also a 40 foot boat. So there's a lot of stuff coming up in the near future. So to Josie's discuss, she doesn't want it all to happen so quickly, but it, it's gonna be really exciting over the next two years of what comes out of the factory. I was the first person to buy an Eden Craft in Geelong, 15 or 17 years ago, whatever it was now, and instantly fell in love with the boat. First time I went out in it was this, you felt safe all the time offshore and that's what it's all about. When you go on 100 k's offshore, you wanna know you can get back in. So that's, that's what it meant to me. Reassurance and stability and safety. And my goal always from the start has been to build the best possible boat we could build. We didn't buy the company to have it for a short term. Obviously Josie is general manager and her husband works in the business as well. So it's a long-term plan for us. So always for everything with us is quality and making and doing the best job we could possibly do. When we took over Eden Craft, they weren't making very many boats at all. I think it was down in, in the single figures. So over the last six years, the growth has been huge. I think as you go along and you get more organised and get your procedures better, I think everything works better. The things we do differently. I don't, I'm not one to look back and say I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that again because I think everything in, in life's a, a, a good experience, whether it's at, at the time good or bad. Yeah, one thing I, early I learned that to, to try to do everything you possibly can in-house. But the first mile we tried to get made was a 565 in Queensland and it was a disaster. Cost a fortune, didn't work and I wouldn't put it in production because it wasn't right. It's a learning experience and made us better because we do everything in-house. Hence why we're getting the CNC machine to do our own plugs and have control over everything. Instead of hand making stuff, you can be within a hundred of a mil. So it makes a much better product. We do also teach from yeah. one end to the, so yeah. there's not one part of boat building. We don't teach our apprentices. Yeah. I think it's very important that when you've got a kid, you don't just put him in one section and he learns one thing for five years, which can happen in a, a bigger companies. Um, so I'm very big on making sure all our apprentices know one end to the other. We obviously always want to retain our staff as well, but we, we want to make our workers and our apprentices like the best boat builders they can possibly be. Whether that means they will move somewhere else or if they move interstate or move overseas or anything like that, that they can say that they did their apprenticeship at Eden Craft and then that's going to get them a job anywhere because we're probably biased, but I definitely think we've got the best boat builders in Australia, if not the world. <laughs> Family Day, we started after the second year we had the company. 2017, I think. Yeah, so virtually after the second year we had the company. When you buy a boat off us, it's not just building a boat. Like we want it to be an experience and join, uh, be part of us. So we get a real kick out of seeing our customers quite often. So it's just to celebrate all the people that have bought boats previous. We get together, I think there's 40 boats or something coming on Sunday. Uh, we'll have three or 400 people back at the factory. Hopefully the weather's gonna be all right, but um, it's, it's a hectic day, and, but we will enjoy it a lot. Yeah, it's just awesome. Every aspect of it um, is all about bringing people together. And then also it, for people that don't have an Eden Craft, they can come and experience what it's like for one day when they do get to own one. And we have a band. And yeah, like band it's music. a little bit of a party as well. It's, it's um, quite an enjoyable day. Yes. And a couple of beers, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's like a pre-Christmas party once the customers leave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>